And the next paper afternoon, it's on prevalence and correlates of smoking, alcohol consumption and illicit substance use in school adolescents in Sri Lanka. The paper is from Kumbugge, Senanayaka, Gunwardhana, Vikramasinghe, Lokubala Surya, Gunwardhana and Piris are Vikramasinghe and Madhuheva and uh, paper will be presented by Madhuheva. Good afternoon everyone. Today my topic is prevalence and correlates of smoking, alcohol consumption and illicit substance abuse among school going adolescents in Sri Lanka. Adolescent as defined by the World Health Organization is a transition period from childhood to adulthood ranging from ages 10 to 90. In Sri Lanka, our population, 16.1% of them are adolescents and 70% of them attend school. Increased autonomy, willingness to take risk and peer influence usually encourage them to take risk decisions during this time, which could affect harmfully later in their life. Perhaps so, we have observed increased trends in smoking and substance abuse globally over the last few decades. The, uh, the Global School Health Survey has been an informative information providing structure to identify such risk behaviors among adolescents in, two, in 2008 and 2016. In Sri Lanka also, we did this Global School Health Survey. And from that, we decided to analyze this data to find objective in our study. So the objective was to estimate the prevalence of smoking, alcohol consumption and illicit substance abuse in school going adolescents age 13 to 17 in Sri Lanka and to find the factors associated with that. So as I already mentioned, here we analyze the data from GSHS 2016 and the recruited sample was from school going children age 13 to 17 from all government schools in Sri Lanka. We got a sample of 3,650 with a desired, desired precision of 5% and a 80% respond rate. And it was a two-stage cluster sampling method. And in the initial stage, we uh, included all the government school which had grades of 8 to 12. And in the second stage, out of that, in probability proportion to size, we chose 40 schools. A self-administered standard GSHS questionnaire was used here which was culturally adapted and translated to Sinhala and Tamil. And uh, prevalence was presented with confidence interval and uh, we uh, determined the correlates with my multivariate and bivariate analysis. So 17 districts were chosen. And looking at the results, so most of the students belong to age 15, 13 to 15 age group and with a slightly higher proportion of females compared to the males. The prevalence of current alcohol consumption was slightly higher among older adolescents, that is 16 to 17 age group. And the prevalence of current smoking and substance abuse, substance consumption, there was no difference in age categories as what we saw in alcohol consumption. For the alcohol, the current use or the prevalence was 3.2. 42% of them had their first drink before the age of 14. 26 had obtained alcohol from a friend, whereas 10% were exposed to daily advertisement of alcohol. As for 41.9% of the study population, desire to taste alcohol was the reason for their first drink. Prevalence of current alcohol consumption among males was significantly higher compared to the girls. And majority of the population in both age categories have seen actors drinking alcohol in different mass media. As for the smoking, current prevalence was 3.6. Consumption among male was significantly higher again, with higher prevalence among the younger and older adolescents. An overwhelming majority of smokers began to become used before they reached the adulthood. For 25%, it was before 10 years, and for 54%, it was before 14 years. And 43.2% had exposed to secondhand smoke, and for 21%, parents or the guardian had used any form of tobacco. And almost three quarter, that is 71% of our study population of the students who were current smokers wanted to quit smoking during the last 12 months. And for the substance abuse, current uh, usage was 2.7%. 
And while the prevalence of illegal substance abuse among the male students was significantly higher compared to the males, it was similar among the two adolescent age groups, that is 13 to 15 and 16 to 17. Male sex was significantly associated with current use of alcohol, smoking, and illegal substance abuse. Similarly, sex match analysis revealed that except for illegal substance abuse, being in older age category was significantly associated with the current use of alcohol and smoking. Age and sex match analysis using logistic regression revealed that parent guardian used any form of tobacco, exposure to secondhand smoking, physical fighting, seen actors consuming alcohol on TV, and attempted suicide were significantly associated with alcohol and tobacco consumption. The factors significantly associated with substance abuse were involved in physical fighting within the last 12 months, were being physically attacked, and again seen actors using them on television advertisements. So in conclusion, it was evident that the although the direct advertising of alcohol is prohibited in this country, the indirect advertising still remains a concern. And also, though the use of addictive drugs was low among the students, two thirds of them have initiated that practice at a fairly younger age. So in recommendation, to work more on full enforcement of framework convention of tobacco control and banning advertisement of tobacco products together with all activities currently we are doing in the school sector to be enhanced is recommended. Thank you. Fine, uh, we have time for one question. After this study was done, we have given complete reports. The three collaborations were here, the NCD unit of ministry, the school health unit of the family health bureau and the educational ministry. For all three sectors, we have provided comprehensive reports. Now they are working on this through their current working programs, especially the school health unit of the family health bureau, they have initiated certain things. Only thing is we can assess the outcome only in the next GSHS which should be most probably according to the CDC in 2022. Okay, thank you so much and uh, the normal way of appreciation for a research paper.